you've shelled out a lot of money for those high-tech devices. So now it's time to keep them safe. Seven's on your side. Next. Seven is on your side tonight with how to protect your tech. At least one study says by the end of this year, one in two Americans is going to be using a smartphone. And as we know, those phones are expensive. Mm -hmm. And if you're not careful, they can break on you. That's right. Chris <laughs> Van Cleve has a look at what makes your tech toys fail and how to protect them. Taking a video with my new iPhone 3G. You just know this is not going to end well. An iPhone in the pool is likely a death sentence. Bashing your BlackBerry, that can break the screen, which is why district resident Ryan Meinzer's iPhone is now wearing a bumper. I had the iPhone, uh, the last iPhone, and I did not have a case. I loved it, but then I dropped it, and it cracked, and it cost, I had to buy the new iPhone. Patricia McIsaac's family's five phones are wrapped in protective covers, but she spent about 100 bucks a phone for another layer of protection, a warranty against accidents. If an iPhone breaks, it would be another $600. So we thought it was an inexpensive investment. Vince Sang works for Square Trade, who offers extended warranties for phones, tablets, and computers, so he knows when your tech toy is likely to break. A full third of smartphones die in the first year. Blackberries have uh, the lowest chance of accidental damage. The iPhone 4 has the highest uh, likelihood of being damaged accidentally. Um, however, the iPhone also has the lowest chance of having uh, any sort of internal malfunction. iPads seem to compare with laptops. About a third will fail in the first two to three years, they think. The number one reason for iPads to fail is they get dropped, um, they get knocked off, uh, the, the, the table and the screen shatters. Protecting your tech is big business. Screen guards, bumpers, and cases fill racks of shelves in the stores, but few will protect against this. It was run over at least a dozen times. But a third-party warranty probably will. Otherwise, you'll have to pay up big to buy a new one if yours takes a dive. The warranty folks say business people with company-issued devices and students tend to be the hardest on their tech toys, often because they didn't buy the device. I'm Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.